The new report that just came out may contradict the old notion of Uber and Lyft saying that in order to raise driver rates, they're going to have to raise rider rates. Well, that may not be true. And that's what we're talking about right now. So could drivers get paid more money? Hey everyone, Chris here for the Rideshare Guy. And today we're gonna to be talking about a new report that just came out that said drivers could actually potentially make more going against the old notion that Uber and Lyft have stated that not necessarily going to be true in terms of if you have to raise driver rates, you have to raise rider rates. And so what does this mean? And will drivers actually make more money? Well, probably not so fast yet. But what we're going to be talking about today is going to be comparing it to the New York City law and the minimum wage that went into effect and also the study that looked at the people who are driving in New York City, how much they're making, did they lose any money, and did rates actually go up? So many years now, both Uber and Lyft have said that if they have to raise driver rates, then they're going to have to raise rider rates. And in turn, that could make ride demand go down, and therefore drivers will actually make less but a new report out of Berkeley says that Uber and Lyft can pay drivers more and not really have to increase rates for passengers. So what this study looked at is actually all the rides that happen in New York City where there is a minimum wage for the city when you are driving. And it was to look to see if they had to pay drivers more with this minimum wage, would drivers actually be paid less over time? or would they be paid the same or make more money? And then what was the relationship to what the passengers have to pay? Did it go down? Did it stay the same or did it go up? New York City's minimum wage standard went into effect on February of 2019. And it basically stated that any driver that was driving in New York City had to get paid $17.22 an hour. And both Uber and Lyft argued saying that because drivers are going to have to get paid more, they're actually going to get paid less in the long run because ride demand will go down because passengers have to pay more. Well, we're a year and a half into it, and what does it look like? So as you can see on the screen right now, it says a report released on Tuesday showed the decrease in earnings did not come to pass. Instead, it shows driver pay was raised without any significant fare increases for the riders. In a study of 500 million trips from 2018 and 2019, the data showed driver's pay increased approximately 9% or $1.33 per trip for those rides completed in 2019 after the minimum wage was in place. Now notice though how it said without any significant fare increases, so that means there were some fare increases, but not anything that was extraordinary and probably didn't have too much impact on how many people were getting rides at the time. So you might be thinking right now, why don't we have a minimum wage standard where I'm driving or where you're driving? Well. There's a little bit more to that. And unfortunately for New York City, there's limited access to the app because Uber and Lyft are trying to say, well, if there's going to be these minimum wages, then only a certain amount of people can be on the app at a time. And if you are in an area that doesn't have enough demand, you won't be able to go online. You're either going to have to drive to a higher demand area or wait to get online. And also both Uber and Lyft have disputed the claims of this report saying that it doesn't take into account the true effects of everything and certain areas are seeing higher price rates than other areas comparatively. So again, who knows exactly what to say, but when you're looking at the hard data, it's showing a little bit of an increase for driver pay and not so much of an increase for what riders are paying. So it actually looks like it could be done. Now, unfortunately, for the last several months, there has been a pandemic going on, and so ridership in New York City has dropped dramatically, and it is something that we can't see what the full scope of things are because it's a significant amount of time that ridership has been down overall. So hopefully after ride demand picks up and also other areas like Seattle who are placing minimum wage standards in their city as well, we'll have more data to show that drivers could potentially get paid more without having to significantly raise rates for passengers. And I think that's a win-win for both the driver and the rider. 
Not necessarily for Uber and Lyft, though. So drivers, I have two questions for you today. And that is, do you think that Uber and Lyft could raise driver pay without impacting what riders pay? And would you be willing to sign up for shifts to drive if it meant you were guaranteed to make minimum wage or more? Comment below and let us know. And if you want more pay as a driver, make sure you hit that thumbs up. If you want to get paid less, then you can hit that thumbs down. I'm not sure why you want to get paid less, but either way, if you haven't hit that subscribe button to the Rideshare Guy, make sure you do because each and every single week there are new videos that come out, whether it's news, tips, information for drivers on how to make better decisions and make more money out on the road. All right, everyone, drive safe.